Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about Apex Legends again. Now, remember that video I uploaded a, a, about a few days ago where it was about Apex Legends, they were going to be banning people for piggybacking, and I didn't agree with it, right? One of my commenters in the video actually pointed out to me that it's not exactly what I thought. They're not banning people for playing with people at higher levels and gaining levels faster, in that sense. They're banning people for joining games with their teammates, not doing anything, and still gaining experience from their teammates doing stuff. Now that is obviously more justified than what I thought it was. But at the same time, I still agree that it's, I don't think it's a banning issue. People have probably still been doing that for so long in gaming, and I understand it's annoying. Like if I join and one person is not there, it is annoying because then you have to basically pull more of the weight yourself. But I still don't think it's something to be banned over. It's such a regular thing. I, find, I feel like I feel like plenty of people join games and then they're not there or something like that. So I think that maybe they should just do what most other games would probably do. Just stop these people from gaining experience. Stop these people or even what Fortnite does. Because when I was playing Fortnite, I'll admit I used a cheesy tactic and it was just to hide in the tops of trees basically for the whole game. And if you stay still for too long, you actually will get kicked out of the game. So that's what I think they should probably do with Apex Legends. They should probably either just kick people out of the game or just stop them from gaining experience. If they see that after like five minutes the player hasn't killed anybody, hasn't picked up any weapons, hasn't moved, hasn't done anything like that because they're just piggybacking, then they should just stop them from gaining experience. I mean, even League of Legends, when you're gone for a certain amount of time or if you are AFK, I think, for a certain amount of time, they will not let you get the experience even if your team wins. So... I think that's all they need to do. I still don't think they should need to ban people for it. But I definitely understand why they're more justified in this issue because people joining a game just to do nothing basically while the rest of the team carries the load, yeah, that's not sportsmanlike at all. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.